Hello and welcome to Yara's YouTube channel. My name is Allison Hebert and I'm a sales agronomist with Yara. I cover Southern Alberta and parts of BC. Uh, yeah, so thanks for joining on today's discussion around complete crop nutrition. Uh, also, this will be the first of a series of YouTube videos that Yara will be uh, putting out. Uh, we'll be talking about some of our products such as Yara Vita Pro Coat. We'll focus on our Yara Vita Foliar line. Yaravera Amidas and other products as well as we'll take a deep dive into specific nutrients and their roles in the plant. So today just wanted to go over briefly uh, complete crop nutrition and the, just the importance of it all. Uh, when we're talking about complete crop nutrition we're talking about all nutrients. All of our macros are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, our secondary nutrients, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, and our micros, uh, our micronutrients. There's boron, zinc, copper, manganese, molybdenum, chloride, um, some would say nickels in there, uh, iron. So we want to just talk about all those nutrients but also um, how the plant uses them and at what stages. So at the beginning of this plant's life cycle, boron, zinc, and phosphorus are very important for root formation, um, just for the for root structure as well. Boron plays a big role in plant growth and cell wall structure. Zinc is active in the growth hormone production, and phosphorus is, phosphorus is a driver of energy, um, a production of ATP in this plant. Um, if these nutrients are deficient, uh, you can see in these pictures how after only 30 days after planting, uh, these nutrients are already um, giving an, a negative impact to this plant. We're already limiting its potential. These root structures are not um, as robust. They haven't really searched out as much as they should have at this point. When we go into maximizing photosynthesis and to our vegetative stage, we have a lot of nutrients important uh, to make sure that this plant goes through this stage properly and gets enough energy for the whole plant. Zinc is still there for the growth hormone production, um, manganese, magnesium, nitrogen, phos, all very important for photosynthesis and chlorophyll production. Uh, potassium is actually going to be in charge of opening and closing the stomata uh, to regulate the CO2 uptake in this plant. Uh, standability, making sure your crop doesn't lodge, uh, potassium, very important. That's usually the nutrient we're talking about. It produces cellulose to keep that st uh, stock nice and strong. But boron and calcium, you know, those two buddy up with each other for cell wall structure. And copper is active in lignification. If these nutrients are deficient at this stage, the plant doesn't have enough of them as it starts to elongate, you'll start seeing lodging in the field, especially if it's a high yielding crop with a heavy head on top. It's just not that stem is just not strong enough to keep it up. Uh, as that plant moves into from vegetative into reproductive mode, uh, boron, calcium and sulfur are all required to make sure that this plant flowers evenly and there's no sterility. Boron is very important in pollen germination. Um, calcium is still very important for cell wall structure and su su uh, sulfur sorry, is important for protein uh, production and the, synth the synthesis of oils. Uh, and as that plant starts to produce the head and fill with the um, fill with the kernels or producing a pod and filling those pods with seeds, uh, zinc, copper, boron, nitrogen, sulfur, all important at this stage as well to make sure those heads are developed properly and that they're filled completely. Yeah, we have some examples here just to show how one nutrient um, that's deficient in that plant can actually affect the development of that head and how it fills. Some of these heads have formed properly but didn't fill well you can see with the zinc that head had didn't really produce or form how it was supposed to um, even though it did try to fill the heads as best as it could so you know that was a very quick overview but all nutrients are important um, and at all stages of this crop as well if you can't get it all down at seeding um, you can always do go in with a foliar top dress or um, some of our foliar product line for for foliar uptake. Um, but like I said earlier, all macros, secondary, and micronutrients are required in these plants. They're just required in different concentrations. 
So thank you for listening to Yara's YouTube channel on Complete Crop Nutrition. Uh, if you have any interest in our other products or want to learn more about individual nutrients and how the role that they play in the plant, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can contact one of your Yara reps at yaracanada.ca. And thank you.